Hola, uh, my name is Wendy, and I took AP Spanish during the B. Yeah. Hola, my name is Hannah. I'm in AP Spanish, but I got my CL by literacy when I took Spanish for like a year ago. Virtually? Yeah, virtually. <laughs> Hola, my name is Hannah. I'm currently just finished AP Spanish, and I got my CL by literacy and honors Spanish for last year virtually. Congratulations. Exciting. All right. So with that said, do you want to pepper them with some questions? Wendy, what's, what's it mean to you to be bilingual? What's the importance of being bilingual for you? Um, I was said that I came here as this, uh, this country without like knowing any English. And the opportunity of like learning English and like Spanish, it makes me like feel like official my way what was it but at the same time it's like a, a big opportunity yeah. that's great yeah i understand completely yeah and hannah how about you um for me just being able to communicate with people of different cultures and like i met wendy when she moved here and she like I don't know, we were like, kind of met you like right yeah. when you moved here. Yes. And she didn't really know much English, so also being able to help her, and then also learning Spanish on my own and being able to communicate with her and just different people like in like outside of school, like at work and stuff. Yeah. And Hannah, you work with Hannah. Yes, and, we work um, with Hannah. You could comment on a little bit about how you use Spanish at your job. Um, it, is, it is so helpful at work being able to communicate with all of our team because half of our team speaks Spanish and half of them speak English. So it's definitely very beneficial to have both languages under your belt a little bit to be able to have clear communication between both teams and really get together as well. Yeah, I'm sure you're both super bilingual. Wendy, are you there too? No. no okay. No, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not sure there. you're both super valuable to the whole restaurant for being able to you know, work from both sides and mm -hmm. use both languages. That's awesome. And um, we'll go back to you, Hannah Ka. Uh, what are some of the things that you've liked about your Spanish classes? Um, well, I really like how it's more of a community setting and we get to learn as a group rather than like individually. So it feels like we're all building together and we're not all of us kind of as a group learning about different cultures. And we get to take brain breaks, which is so nice doing <laughs> yoga in the middle of my day. It's really helpful just to clear my mind. <laughs> and Hannah, what, are, what have been some of the challenges for you in studying Spanish? Um, definitely taking Spanish virtually. That was pretty difficult because, I mean, you're learning a whole new language and having to do it online when you can't get, like, the hands-on instruction. It's pretty hard. And then coming straight to AP from that. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, like, especially with this interaction and, like, the way you taught us, it was very... Like, I felt pretty good going into the exam, honestly. And Wendy, I'm going to flip it the other way for you. What have been some of your challenges learning English here? For me? Yeah. I would say the communication, um, because it's like, when you're going, like, your brain is going to be like, what are they saying? Mm -hmm. like, I want to know what they're saying. Like, I want to be able to speak it. So, I would say the to Spanish, you can learn English by listening, you pick the words, and then you start like, oh, this is what they mean, and then you start like speaking it like, not like just one, but like more to the level. Yeah. And then what about advice for uh, other students that are in their journey towards trying to earn this skill? What, what advice would you give to someone? first. Um, my main advice would be find a group of people that you tend to have Spanish classes with and really just like make a bond with those people and so you can all learn together. Like Hannah and I, we all have like a group of Spanish speakers in this class that we went and studied for the AP exam for and we do other study sessions. We have a group chat when you're confused about things. So it's definitely very beneficial to have other friends and other people that you can connect with and talk to. Yeah. Um, that and also try and talk with people like use spanish outside of school like i would like to talk to me in spanish to help me like practice it more because 
like that's what it's going to be used for like getting the seal by literacy is going to be used to communicate with people outside of school in your future and whatever job college wherever you go so it's like take advantage of that and try it's tough. You have to be brave. It's hard. You have to build your it's confidence. Exactly. Yeah. And you're going to make a ton of mistakes. Right? And you definitely, you definitely have to be humble when you go into it. Because, yeah. because people will respond to that humility and they'll, they'll help you. They they actually, they're going to help you. Yeah, like when we're at work and we talk to them, they actually, like, they, like the Spanish speakers and the Spanish speakers enjoy talking to us, I feel like, because it's mm -hmm. kind of cool about like, not just, like, the people they usually talk to in Spanish. It's awesome. And you care enough to try. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, my name is Wendy Chavez, and I honor the seal by literacy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go again? We, we earned it. Okay. Hi, my name is Hannah Scoff, and I earned the seal by literacy at Ken Island. <laughs> Yay. My name is Hannah Krampitz, and I earned the seal by literacy at Ken Island High School. Perfect. All right, my name is Adam Martin. I'm a uh, current senior at Ken Island High School, and I am an earner of the Seal of Bible All right, Adam, can you tell us a little bit about what made you keep taking Spanish classes? Why did you want to continue and went all the way up to Spanish 4? Yeah, 100%. So when I first got introduced to the Seal of Bible Literacy program and everything, uh, there were a couple seniors who I looked up to who, who I knew that were like close to me and earned it, and I think that really motivated me. Um, just as an accomplishment, but then continuing taking Spanish specifically, I'm someone who is like loves to connect with people, and I think the idea that I'm not able to communicate with everybody in other countries because um, of a language barrier is something that kind of frustrated me. So the thought that I could take Spanish and continue to develop my skill set and be able to communicate and interact with other cultures was pretty interesting. That's great. And I'll always remember your artist video that you made during Virtual Spanish 4 where you played two roles. What were some of the other things that you enjoyed in your Spanish classes? Yeah, 100%. So I think like the everyday um, like conversations we would have, we'd always talk about how our weekends were, what things we did. Uh, and I think just having those natural conversations with other people was something that was small, but was really interesting. And then also I remember we did research projects on um, different countries around the world and that's interesting because I really want to travel to other countries so and I think that's something that a lot of people want to do as well so knowing and um, being more familiar with, with different countries across the world is pretty cool. Awesome. Do you have any recommendations for students that are currently studying the language? Yeah, I think um, utilizing uh, the language in every day uh, is like the biggest thing. So for me, I'm a big sports fan so I would like actively go out of my way to watch games in like the Spanish broadcasts or listen to Spanish podcasts or read, try to read articles in Spanish and it just like the consistency just kind of helps familiarize yourself with different words like a natural way. Yeah, that's great. And I notice you're an athlete and you want to give a shout out for your most recent accomplishment there too yes, in addition sir. to the Seal of Literacy. Seal of Literacy 2022 state champions for the state of Maryland, Maryland men's lacrosse team. Beautiful. Sorry. Congratulations. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Is there awesome. anything else anybody wanted to say? Anything that you missed? Yeah, <laughs> you want to say that together? Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. Adios, Go for it. Adios, niños. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Adios, niños.